I'd like to welcome everyone again and introduce to us the guests that we have in our midst this morning for this 15th webinar series, virtually or physically. I'd like to recognize the presence of the Vice Chancellor Landmark University, Professor Adini Yolayonju, here seated with us this morning. I'd like to also introduce to us and welcome the Registrar of Landmark University, Ms. Adefunke Fola Oyinloye. I'd like to also introduce the Dean's School of Graduate Studies in absentia, or probably she's on virtually. Deans of Colleges here present physically and virtually. Dean Student Affairs, Landmark University, Heads of Academic Departments, the Professorate, the Chaplains, the Director of Financial Services, Director of Center for Learning Resources, Director of Physical Planning and Development, Director of Center for Systems and Information Services, Director of Health Services, Director of Academic Planning, then the Director of Landmark University Center for Research, Innovation and Discoveries, Discoveries Lucrate, Professor Adepesin here present. Director of University Wide Courses, Dr. Lawal here present with us. And also like to introduce the Associate Professor, the guest lecturer for this webinar series, Associate Professor M.O.N. Kunuji, and members of faculty and staff, and also our esteemed students, kings and queens present here today. Ladies and gentlemen, you are most welcome. A round of applause, please. Standing on the already established protocols, I welcome everyone here once again to take us further in this event. Permit me to call on the head of department sociology, Lamarck University, Dr. Dele Razal, to take the prologue of the webinar. Thank you so much. I personally want to welcome all of us here, physically and those online. The mission of the Department of Sociology is to produce high quality research and scholarship, as well as achieve excellence in undergraduate and postgraduate um, teaching. In line with this mission, um, the department decided to put this up in, by joining the, coll the College of Business and Management Sciences. And by so doing, we have also tried as much as we can to attach our support to the university research goals. Based on that, the choice of this um, topic came about as a result of some factors. Number one is there's a common question in sociology that is sociology a science. It's a basic question for elementary sociology that is sociology truly a science. As a result of that, we intend to look at it, which I know the guest speaker is going to do justice to. The other thing is to enable students in the social science discipline presence present accurate and reliable data, as well as avoid statistical errors and find a way to deal with everyday challenges like outliers, missing data, data altering, data mining, or developing graphical representations. Finally, the goal of enhancing faculty and the university visibility through media and journal citation prompted our support and action of the series of webinar, which this is the third for the Department of Sociology and the 15th for Lucrate. Having said this, I implore, I implore all of us to sit still while we go through this subject matter. And I'm assuring you that the guest speaker is going to do justice to this issue. Thank you, everyone. And please, you're all welcome again. Another round of applause for my HOD. Permit me to also call on the 
Dean, College of Business and Social Sciences, to take us on the welcome address, Dr. F. Asham Musa. You're welcome. Thank you, Omar. Lama University College of Business and Social Sciences, welcome address by the Dean CBS at the top webinar series of the Department of Sociology. The team of the, the, top, the, the, team of the study is the understanding the, the dynamic of data analysis and interpretation in social science research. It is with great excitement that I want to bring this remark at this third webinar series of, for sociology. I want to appreciate the management of Lama University, able led by the Vice Chancellor, Professor Adeni Olari Yangu, for approving this webinar at a time like this. To our amiable registrar in absentia, and D. Luke Reed, you are appreciated. Special admission to the elder guest speaker, Dr. Wei Kunuji, all deans in absentia, HOD of sociology and other HOD that are in their office, you are welcome to this uh, webinar series. So the, the, I ask one question, what data analysis, in, why data analysis in social sciences? Data analysis in social sciences is a process of obtaining raw data and subsequently converting it to information useful for decision making by users. Also, data is collected and interpreted to answer questions, test hypotheses, or disapprove theories. Data analysis methods are largely based on two core areas, which is quantitative and uh, qualitative methods. Once the data has been analyzed, the next pro progressive step is to interpret the data. But interpretation is the process of assigning meaning to process analyzed data. At the end, it enables us to make informed and meaningful conclusion with cost efficient. The special guest today is doing justice to what this topic entails. I hope that this webinar will equip participants with understanding that a well-processed data has greater impact on the conclusion drawn from social science research. It is on this note that I want to employ, to employ us to listen to this lecture as we draw from the wealth of experience of the speaker. Once again, I welcome you to this webinar series of Amazing Lama University. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Can we appreciate the Dean, College of uh, Business and Social Sciences, once again. Um, the Vice Chancellor, sir. Uh, members of management here in present, standing on the already established protocols. Um, just by the team, understanding the dynamics of data analysis and interpretation in social science research. Uh, I want to make it known unto us that uh, it is not a thing of uh, social sciences alone. Uh, in the uh, days that we are in currently, uh, data is a main thing. Do you want to talk about artificial intelligence? Do you want to talk about data mining? They want to talk about uh, big data science. So uh, in most researches, these days, uh, data is of essence, and it is very important. However, to take us further in this uh, webinar this morning, I have the singular honor of inviting someone whom God has put in place and in charge of running the affairs of Landmark University no other person 
like the amiable Vice Chancellor Lamarck University in the person of uh, Professor Adeniyi Olayoju. Please, I want us to appreciate him as we bring him on for his opening remarks. You're welcome, sir. Thank you, Dudu Lupid. You may please be seated. I want to especially congratulate the Department of uh, Social Sciences, Business and Social Sciences, and in particular, the Department of Sociology, and that of the SDG 10, Reduce Inequality Cluster. Studio, the theme of this webinar is Understanding the Dynamics of Data Analysis and Interpretation in Social Science Research. I want to especially recognize the registrar of this great university, Ms. Paula Oyiloye, the Dean College of Business and Social Sciences, the Director, Landmark University Center for Research, Innovation and Discovery, of course, our guest speaker, Dr. M. Ohen Kunuji, the head of the Department of Sociology, Dr. Bamidele Razak, our SDG 10 team lead, Dr. Mrs. Uh, Chisa Igoleku, and all members of that research cluster, I recognize our undergraduate students from the Department of Sociology and that of postgraduate students here present, members of the university community, of course, online participants from all walk of life. It is with great pleasure once again that I warmly welcome you to the 15th Lucrid webinar series, Council of the Department of Sociology and our SDG 10 research cluster. You will agree with me, like always, that the theme of this webinar, understanding the dynamics of data analysis and interpretation in social science research is apt and, of course, in alignment with Landmark University Strategic Goals 5, 7, 10, 11, and 12. The university has 12 strategic goals. This webinar has direct bearing with LSG 5, talking about financial self-sufficiency, Seven, talking about research, innovation, and discovery. Eight, talks about human resources. Of course, nine, talks about innovation and discovery. Ten, talks about uh, budgeting. And eleven, talks about plan scheduling. Twelve, talks about monitoring and evaluation. All of these require knowledge of statistical data and that of uh, analysis. Landmark University has this big vision of being a leading world-class university, of course, by spearheading an agrarian revolution on the African continent through the expression of hidden treasures in the modern art. And that is why we are embracing the 17 Sustainable Development Goals. In other words, as much as we are thinking global, we have to start local. So what we are trying to do is to synergize between Landmark Strategy Goals and the 17 Sustainable Goals of the United Nations. The goals that is also very relevant into this webinar is that of SDG 10, talking about reduce inequalities. Now, if you look at that sign of inequality, that talks about data analysis. So it is to reduce inequality within and among countries. And the exploit of that team or cluster is what you are seeing on the screen. Data analysis. The systematic application of statistical and log logical techniques to describe the data score, modularize the data structure, condense the data representation, illustrate via images, tables, and graphs, and evaluate statistical inclination, probability data, and derive meaningful conclusion. These analytical procedures enable us as faculty, as researchers, to induce the underlying inference from data by eliminating the unnecessary trials created by its rest. Data generation, therefore, is a continual process 
This makes data analysis continuous, iterative process, where the collection and performing data analysis simultaneously. Ensuring data integrity, however, of data analysis. There are various examples where data analysis is used, ranging from transportation, risk and fraud detection, customer interaction, city planning healthcare, web search, digital advertisement, and of course, more and more. Considering the example of healthcare, as we saw during the outbreak of uh, COVID-19, where we have coronavirus hospitals that are faced with challenge of coping up with pressure in treating as many patients as possible. Considering data analysis allow them to monitor machine and data usage in such scenario to achieve efficiency gain. There are different techniques for data analysis depending upon the question at heart, the type of data and the amount of data gathered. Each focuses on taking on to the new data, mining insights and drilling down into the information to transform facts and figure into decision-making parameter. Data analysis, therefore, is key to any business, whether starting up a new venture, making marketing decisions, continue with a particular course of action, or going for a complete shutdown. The inferences and the statistical probability calculated from data analysis have based the most critical decisions by ruling out all human bias. Different analytical tools have overlapping functions and different limitations, but they are also complementary tools. Before choosing a data analytical tool, it is therefore essential to consider the scope of work, infrastructure limitation, economic feasibility, and the final report to be prepared. This is the more reason we are engaging the veteran, the expert, our own associate professor, M.O.N. Kunoji, from the Department of Sociology, University of Lagos, who is very fast in the subject of discourse. This webinar promises to bring our way latest software packages that will help us in our research endeavor. It is on this note that I want to welcome our distinguished guest speaker and appreciate him for the privilege to draw from his wealth of knowledge and experience via this webinar. I also want to congratulate Dr. Chisa Iboleku for the maiden webinar coming from the SDG 10 Reduce Inequality Platform, for the passion and the seal with which she's driving the cluster, and for her initiative and contribution to the actualization of our vision of becoming a world-class university. Of course, special thanks has to go to our amiable head of department of sociology, Dr. Bamidele Rasak, who indeed is the organizer of this webinar, and for facilitating the linkage with the guest speaker. I wish you all a memorable webinar. Come down with us, and we will do you good, for the Lord has spoken good concerning us. Thank you, and God bless. You may please be seated. Vatigable Vice Chancellor for that exquisite and robust presentation. Give it to him once more. At this juncture, permit me to invite for the citation of the guest speaker. Mr. Oyeiko Joseph. A round of applause for him as he comes forward, please. Good morning, everyone. The Vice Chancellor, sir, standing on the already established protocol, I will proceed with the citation of the guest speaker, Dr. Michael Kunuji. Dr. Michael O. Kunuji is an associate professor of sociology. From the, department, from the University of Lagos. He is an expert in social research methodology with a general interest in population studies. He is a sociologist by training 
and his research interests cut across human sexuality, adolescence and youth sexual and reproductive health, intimate partner violence, social exclusion, and health systems and policies. His research is focused on understanding social context of youth and adolescent sexuality, health systems, and health delivery in Nigeria. With support from USAID, coordinating implementation research to communicate learning and evidence, SECO, and the National Population Commission, Dr. Kunoji designed and led the implementation of Nigeria's first qualitative verbal and social autopsy of under five deaths, which explores contextual factors in child mortality in Nigeria. Dr. Kunuji is also a principal investigator in several ongoing studies, which include a study of sexual and reproductive health need and challenges of girls and young women in humanitarian context, both in Nigeria and Uganda. Also, workplace challenges of frontline workers in Nigeria's battle against COVID-19, and many more. He has also benefited from international training on research methodology and innovations on how to change negative social norms around domestic violence. His research works are published in several high-quality peer-reviewed international journals. And on this note, I present to you all Dr. Michael Kunuji for his presentation. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Can you hear me, please? Good morning, please. I need to be sure you can hear me. Yes, we can. OK. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Vice Chancellor, sir, uh, please permit me to stand on the already established uh, protocol. I have a 30-minute presentation. I must confess that um, the title of the presentation is somewhat a challenge to me, uh, partly because I did not choose uh, that title. And I have been struggling to get into the mind of the people who proposed this title. I will uh, begin by attempting a definition of uh, the key, the key phrases, the key concepts in this uh, title. And specifically, I want us uh, to focus on data analysis. What exactly do we mean by uh, data analysis? Of course, I'm, I'm aware that many of us are But uh, for um, the purpose of this presentation, I'd like to describe data analysis as that process of transforming raw data into research findings or into results. So by implication, we're saying that data analysis can be likened to the production process through which we turn raw materials into finished products. Just the way we produce things or uh, manufacture uh, finished products from raw materials, uh, researchers also process their raw data 
in order to come up with outputs that we can say uh, provide answers to the research questions we set out at the beginning uh, to answer. And then, uh, what do we mean by interpretation? provide answers to such questions, uh, we will say that we have